What's up everyone from YouTube? Julian here and today is the day that I'm going to be making a tier list with all the Cars movies, TV shows, spin-off and short films that I all watched. I watched all of them. I'm now ready to rank all of them and give you my opinions on them. All right. Anyways, let's begin, bitches. All right. The first up, we're going to start off with the 2006 Cars movie. Man, this movie is so great. It it has some banger soundtracks, the animation pretty good, good. and the, the story, it might be a simple plot, but it is a good movie overall. So I'm going to give this S tier. It's a magical movie, and it's a true classic. Now, I know I'm about to get super demolished in the comments, but I don't care anyways for people who thought this movie was underrated. And that's Cars 2. Man, this movie wasn't even great. Instead of Lightning McQueen being the main character, we have Mater being the main character. And I see why people hated it so much. Mater was so god-awful, stupid, and he embarrassed me. I was so embarrassed throughout the whole movie due to the stupid things that Mater was doing. And the spy thing, I get it. The spy thing, the, there's some banger soundtracks. The spy thing was pretty interesting, but the spy thing would have been a Cars tune or at least a spin-off movie, but it had to be in the sequel. It, it had to be in the sequel, so... It's not that bad, but it's not that great either. So, I'm going to give it a E tier. All right, now, let's talk about Planes. Now, Planes, it wasn't a pretty good movie. It's literally just a retelling story of the first Cars movie from 2006. But instead of Cars, we have Planes. And that wasn't a pretty good movie. So, I'm going to give this F tier. But for... um. Fire and Rescue, it's E-tier. here. Now, I'm going to say why it's E-tier, here, though. It isn't Cars too bad, but it is still pretty bad. At least for the sequel, Dusk, Dusty Crop Hopper was the main character instead of anyone else being the main character, just like how Cars 2 did it. It's not that bad, but it is still pretty bad, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it in the E-tier. All right, now, let's talk about the final Cars movie, and that's Cars 3. Now, I'm going to say it. This movie is the real Cars 2. Cars 3, 100% the real Cars 2. They fixed the problem that what happened in the last movie by making Lightning McQueen the main character again, not to mention there were some banger sound tracks, and, and the story was pretty good as well, like, Lightning McQueen almost get almost going into retirement. How like Doc Coxon lost his racing career and all that stuff, but it was all fixed and due to Cruz Ramirez who who helped Lightning McQueen, and yeah, it it was pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna throw it in the eight. No, not B tier, A tier. It's a pretty good movie, and I recommend you watching it. It's pretty good. Alright, we're done with the movies, and now let's talk about the short films and TV show. And for the first short film, we have Mater and the Ghost Light. Man, I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even question this movie. This this is S tier. A pretty good short film film. And and you can actually watch this short film on Disney Plus or get this. Get this. Let me get it. You can't even watch this on DVD. I'm not even kidding. It's it's included in the Cars Cars DVD. So yeah, you you can you can watch Mater and the Ghostlight on DVD and on Disney Plus as well. So and it's a it's a pretty good short film. I recommend you watching it. All right, now let's talk about the very first Cars TV show, and that's Mater's Tall Tale. I'm not gonna even question it. It's also an S not A tier. S tier. It's my childhood show. The episodes were pretty great. I used to watch it. I used to have a DVD of Mater's Tall Tale. No longer have it, but when I got Disney Plus and rewatched it, 
it felt like I was reliving my childhood. And there was even some two episodes that I never saw in Mater's Tall Tale, like um, like the planes one and like um, and like the, the time traveling one, like that that takes place after Cars two. Oh, but other than that. The show was pretty great, and I think my favorite episode would probably have to be, like, the Monster Truck episode. That was pretty good. And, uh, the Mater the Greater one, that was also pretty good as well. Alright, so our, for our next TV show, we have Tales from Radiator Springs. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give this B tier, and here's the reason why. It's B tier due to the fact that it's tied in with Cars 2, like, Lightning McQueen having, like, like, the Cars 2 paint job and all that crazy shit. But it's still a pretty good sh sh show. I, I pretty much liked it, but unfortunately, it's BT to, to, due to the fact that it's tied in with Cars 2. So, yeah. All right, next short film. We have Miss Fritter's Racing School. Uh, I, I think I'm going to give this B tier as well. I only watched, like, the YouTube version, and I don't know... I don't know if it was the full thing, but yeah, I don't think I probably finished it because I only watched the YouTube version of when Cars 3 was in DVD. But yeah, I think I'm going to give it B tier. And now for the Pixar popcorn short. We have Unparalleled Parking and uh, Dancing with the Cars. It's so simple. They're both S tier, no question. No question, they're both S tier. They're pretty good. Good. They're, these two Pixar popcorn shorts were pretty good. Uh, it's just sad that we never get to hear the voice actors voicing the rules and all that kind of stuff, but they're still pretty great. All right, let's talk about the last TV show and the latest one, as of right now, Cars on the Road. I love Cars on the Road. It's the best TV show I've ever watched. I think that, like, this wrote uh, an idea of a plot of Mater and Lightning McQueen going on a road trip to see Mater's sister and his wedding. I, I think it was a pretty good plot and all, all that good jazz. But uh, I also had some problems with that show. So, remember when Pixar and Disney promised, like, some returning characters? Well, that was a problem. I was so excited to see Dusty Grophopper returning in Cars on the Road. Oh, and the other planes characters. But they but they were never seen in the show. They were they were literally never seen. And they and they literally said also that all the returning cars characters from the previous movies, like such as O Six and Cars 2, would be returning, but the only returning Cars character was is Cruz Ramirez and Mac. And that's not all. They added way too many Guido models in, in this film. Like the, not not this film, like TV show. They added so many they made so many Guido models in this sh show. Like you have a whole library of fucking forklifts and you fucking choose to remake Guido models? Oh my fucking god, dude. But uh, overall, the show was pretty great. The, the theme song with fire, and it is still great. I'm going to give this A tier. Alright, our final short film is, oh my god, this piece of garbage. I'm not going to even pronounce the name because uh, I already forgot about it. This is F tier. That was so embarrassing just watching this shit on YouTube. Like, it's not even on Disney Plus or anything. Like, because I tried searching it up. Boom. It wasn't there on Disney Plus. But instead, it was on YouTube. And holy fuck, that short film was so embarrassing as fuck. I did not like it. I did not enjoy it. It instant F tier. Fucking hell. All right, here's my finished result of this tier list. Man, I had really fun ranking all the movies, TV shows, spinoffs, and all that good jazz. It was really fun, and I hope I get to do more of that in the future.
But what do you guys think? Should I make more tier list videos in the future? Comment down below. And I might do more. But anyways, guys, that wraps up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any new video that pops up. Or any new movies or TV shows that I might bring to this channel. But anyways, see you guys next time. Bye now.